Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're here on Hirschfeld and we're going to be doing some tree stand hunting. So I don't do a lot of tree stand hunting here in the game, but I figured it was about time we changed that. So we do have some red deer that are crossing in front of us here. It's a bunch of females, so I'm not going to be taking them. We'll just let them walk by. The wind is also terrible, so they're going to start fleeing. Um, I saw a roe deer out there somewhere as well. It's a level one female as well, so we're not going to be worrying about her. But the guns that we're going to have are the Malmer 7mm, the Zagan Varmints are 22 250 and then the 22. These will be for some of our longer range shots if we find something that's just well past 200 meters that the electronic collar is not going to call in. And then we also have the Stenberg Takedown Recurve Bow. That'll be for the animals that we do call in with the electronic collar. But yeah, we'll just see how this goes. I don't really have a plan for how long I'm going to stay up here. We'll just see how many animals we can get. And then after that, we'll go and pick them all up after we've shot a whole bunch. Starting us off, we've got a level 6 male Red Fox. 9 to 12 for his estimate. So he's going to be giving us a really good shot here. So I think we're going to go ahead and try and take it. It shows he's about 28 meters out. So we've got the 300 grains in. Let's go ahead and take that. And I see the Vital Blood. It will be a good shot, so 50, 75, 25. So we've got a level 3 fallow here, 154 to 195. So let's switch to the 420 grains, and we'll try and get him as well. So he came from just to the right over here. I'm not sure where he was heading, but I went ahead and hit the electronic collar and got his attention. So he's about 33 meters out. Let's take that, and we dropped him on the spot. So there is a herd of fallow deer just to my right over here that has a bunch of females in it. And I saw a level 4 over there. There he is, 161 to 202. So they're kind of just like going around in circles up there, going into render distance and then going out of render distance. They're kind of just in that like weird cycle right now. So they'll probably pop back up here in a second. Um, but all these are just females. There were some geese over there I was hoping to maybe take down. But looks like they're all gone. So there's the level 4 again. They just keep going back and forth. I might try and take him here. Um, let's get the 22 first and see if we can get his attention because there is no way we're getting him while we are uh, while he's like doing that so there he goes he's gonna go alert let's see if maybe we can hit this shot it definitely is pretty far over there so we'll take that definitely hit him i don't think it's gonna be good though um 50 75 though he is gonna start dropping so i'm curious to see what that's gonna end up being but he is gonna go down we'll just have to wait and see what we ended up hitting so there's some geese that have landed in. We've got a pretty decent level 4, 6 to 7 for his estimates. A bunch of females over here, but there was also a level 2 male, 4 to 5 for his. So we're going to focus on the level 4. It shows he's about 369, 370 meters out. Um, according to the thing up there, 310 to 420 meters. So that's going to be a very difficult shot with the 22. But we'll just see how it goes. Um, there is a good chance we do not end up hitting him. And yeah, I don't even know what we hit, but he did end up going alert there. Let's see if maybe, okay, we hit just behind him with that one. And we got him with that third shot. So let's go. We'll see if he ends up going down there. 50, 75. He is going to go down eventually. Um, it's just a matter of where. But he's dropping pretty quick. 25 to 50. So he's going to end up going down quicker than I thought he would. So let's see. We got these females that are still hanging out. There's actually a level three that kind of came out of nowhere. Let's see if maybe we can get him as well. Um, aimed just a little higher, and we shot right beside him that time. Let's try one more. That was not enough there, and they're going to end up fleeing. So we got the level 4. That's the one we were after anyway, and we got some fallow deer that are kind of just hanging out over there. There's another flock of geese. So we've got a level 2 female. The one beside her here, if we can actually spot him again, is a level 3. And there he is, 5 to 7 for his estimates. The others, I do think they are just females. If there's any others over there, I cannot spot them because they're behind the trees. So let's see if we can get him. He did about 370 meters out, I think it was, um, according to my binoculars there. So we'll just kind of take that shot. And we actually hit him on the first one there. Let's go. Um, so 50 to 75, he is going to start dropping. Did not expect to hit that the first um, on the first shot, but I'll definitely take it. So we look around a little bit and see if we've got anything else. There's a level 1 female roe deer. And I think that's it for now. There's actually some more geese. Level 2, 4 to 5 for that one's estimates. I'm level 3 female. Um, there's a level 4. goes up to 8 to 9. He's a pretty big one. Let's see if maybe we can get him as well. Shot just over in there. And we got that one. That was the level 2, I think, that we shot. So didn't get the level 4, but did get a level 2. I will definitely take that, I guess, as well. So we got a bunch of females, but we've also got a level 4 male, 170 to 212. He has also max weight potential, so we've already got the 420 grains in. We'll go ahead and take him here. So he's about 50 meters out, so we can just take that, and it'll be good. He has dropped on the spot. Well, that level 4 goose has landed back in. He's over here just in front of us now, 8 to 9 for his estimate, so I'm guessing it is the same one anyway. 
we're going to go ahead and take him here. Um, he's a little bit closer this time, so we should be able to go for something like that. And there we go. Got him with the first shot. The rest of these, there's a level 3 female. 5 to 6, but I'm pretty sure the rest of them are just females. So that's a level 1 female. I think that's him there. 25 to 50, 0 to 25. And there he goes. Coming in behind us here is a level 6 red deer, 116 to 162. So he's going to be giving us a pretty good shot there. If he stops like right there in front of us, we shouldn't have too many issues getting him. So he was just right there behind us. I got the mating call and everything and then just hit the electronic collar and he started coming in. So I don't want to take that shot, obviously. Um, he, he is just right here below us at about 14 meters. So didn't really expect him to go right underneath the stand here. We can move around a bit maybe and see if we can get a shot. And there he goes. He's going to start trotting again. Now I also heard some red deer. Just off to my left here, I got a mating call from a female. So there he is there. I think we'll just take something like that. And we did get the vital blood, so it will be good. And there he goes, 50-75. So got a good shot on that level 6. And then there's that female that I was talking about. I don't know if there's going to be any males with these. Um, so far, I'm just seeing two females, three females now. And it could be that group of females that I saw earlier as well. Here's another red deer. This one's a level 5, 101 to 147. So he's right there beside the electronic collar at about 48 meters. So we shouldn't have too many issues taking him. He is giving us a bit of a frontal shot, but we also have a clear shot of his right lung. So we'll take that and it should be good. Okay, guys, so I think that's going to do it here for the hunt. We shot 10 animals, so we're going to go ahead and get them all picked up. But here's this fallow deer. This was the level 3. He's a silver, 173.20. Got him in the heart, so that is why he dropped on the spot. So that was at 34 meters. So we have him. Then we have this level 4. Taking a look at him, he's a silver as well, 184.06. Right humerus, right lung, and the heart with that one. So that was at 51 meters. And then we have our red fox somewhere over here. So we have the red fox, and then we have one more fallow deer, which will be over there, the one we shot at like 350, 400 meters, whatever it was. And then we have four geese that we need to go pick up, as well as the two red deer. So here's the red fox. He's a gold. 10.39 got him in the right lung. So that was a good shot at 28 meters. So let's swing back around, see if we can find these red deer. So this red deer is going to be the level 5. He's a silver, 145.36, got him at the right lung. He was at 48 meters. He was right there beside the electronic collar. If you want to see more hunts like this, where I do hunt from the tree stands, let me know down in the comments. This one was just a bit of a test to see how I would enjoy it and how it would kind of do here on the channel. Now the level 6, he is also just somewhere over here, and there he is. So we'll get him picked up, and then we'll swing around and try to find those 4 geese. They're going to be the ones that are a bit difficult to find. I know that one level 4 is over there just across the road, but I don't remember exactly where the other ones are. I know where the general area is, but I don't know exactly where they're going to be at. So here's the level 6. He's a silver, 154.36, and got him at the left lung at 14 meters. He was the one right below us. I did decide to bring along the Labrador Retriever. That way we could potentially find these geese a little bit easier. But this level 4, I knew exactly where he landed. So he is a gold, 8.41, and got him in the killed stardom there at 344 meters. So a little bit low with the shot, but it did get him. It only takes one shot to bring down geese with the 22. So we got him. Let's see if we can find these others. The dog did find one of them, so this is the other level 4 we shot. He's a gold, 7.70, got him in the flesh at 369 meters. Just barely clipped him there. Here's the third one, and this is a level 2 silver, 5.63. Got him in the flesh as well at 352 meters, so there should be one more if I'm not mistaken. I just don't remember exactly where I shot this one. It might have been out there somewhere in the field, and then we just have that level 4 fallow. The blood trail for this level 4 fallow deer did disappear, but I finally found him over here. So let's get a look at him and see if we actually got a good shot, and we didn't. He's going to be just a silver, 199.50. But got him in the thoracic vertebrae, so that is super unfortunate. I did I wasn't hundred percent sure if it was gonna be good because he didn't drop like immediately. He stayed at 75 to 100 for about 5 seconds before he finally went to 50 to 75. So that was at 391 meters, almost out of render distance. But got him in thoracic vertebrae, it was so close to the lung. Had we been an inch lower, it would have gotten into that left lung. So we still have one more goose that we need to find. I did look back in my recording, it was a level 3. He was just over the hill there, and then he started kind of flying this way. So I'm not 100% sure where he is, though. I've sent the dog in all different directions. So far, he has had no luck. So I'm going to keep looking around. He's got to be out here somewhere. 
If I don't find him, we'll just kind of wrap things up, but I'm gonna try my best to find him. I have no idea where this level 3 goose went. I have searched all over the place. That marker there is where he was originally at when we shot him. So he was at that zone. That's about 300 meters away. I've searched this entire field as well as kind of just the outskirts of it. And I have not found a single goose. So I'm going to continue to look for a little while longer in my own time. But unless I find him, that is going to do it here for this video. So I really do hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you do enjoy it and want to see more videos like this one, let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.